Hey guys, and welcome back to more Let's Play Persona 3 FES The Answer. Last time, uh, we got a lot of the ultimate items. I'll probably be revisiting that just to get more of them uh, in, between, in between recordings at some point in the future. But uh, right now, we have a boss fight, and I think we all know with what. We're ready, our party's ready. We can defeat the the uh, three Cyclopses that are just horrible to contend with. Is this the deepest part of the abyss of time? It might be. You think? It's no different than the rest of the ones we've seen. Good point, y Yukari, good point. Uh, it does look about the same as everything else. But that fits, logically. Which means the Abyss's origin, the reason for the time skips, is here. Oh, there's something I had to tell you all. Well, what was that? It was in the papers about the Abyss of Time I mentioned before. Okay. Did you find something? She's about to tell us, Akiko. If the report is correct, this place came into existence as a reaction to the creation of Tartarus. So all that all that tower goes up and a reaction? I kind of just spoiled it, but it's like 3 seconds. The gigantic tower rising so high left a gigantic hole in its place. That's the abyss. Does that mean they've known about this place for 10 years? They decided it would be harmless if left alone, since it would probably disappear with Tartarus. But it also said that since the Abyss is just a byproduct, there should be no shadows in it. So why now? Wait a sec. There's a friggin' ton of shadows here. Maybe they got dumped here because Tartarus is gone? And if it were supposed to go poof along with Tartarus, why are we standing in it now? Okay. You know, Jude Pay, I will give you that one. Did they forget a decimal place or something? <laughs> no. Their logic makes sense. Maybe there's some something that they couldn't predict that ha that happened. Um, since it seems to be connect connected to us, maybe they didn't predict us. What was supposed to vanish is still here because of some force. One side's removal caused an imbalance. What could that force be? I have an idea. I have a thought. Who knows? Maybe it's somewhere down here. Well, technically true. One thing's certain, though. It's deeply connected to all of you. What's up with that? What the hell did we do to deserve this? I don't think it's a matter of deserving anything, Junpei. This is just what happened. Well, there's another door. If that's here, then maybe... What's going on? Is that the big reason behind all this? If we leave out Igus, Metis, and me, whose past is left? Hey, yeah. Who else was there that had powers like ours? I mean... Who cares? There's no use speculating with it staring us in the face. Just ease up, y Yukari, please. We'll know once we open it. Whatever that reason is, it's strong enough to keep the abyss of time from disappearing. And we've come to erase that reason. We could be in for a battle. We should be very prepared before entering. I think we're prepared, Metis. She's right. 
This appears to be our goal. Don't worry, we can do this. Okay, so it hasn't happened yet. to protect you. I dedicated my life to that purpose. But I can't fulfill that purpose anymore. There's nothing more I can do. I continue to live this way? Does my life have a meaning? <sighs> if so, I wish I could return to being a mere machine. You guys catch that? I know I did. Huh? That's the cause? It's an aspect of it, I suppose, Ken. It's an aspect of it. Don't look at me. But, well... I didn't expect that we'd get to see him again, although he did have his back turned. Although it was quite clear who it was. Indeed. What's it mean? That looked like it was Igus's memory. What kind of a clue is that? I guess didn't have to awaken to her persona abilities, right? Not to her persona abilities, no. No, she did. She awakened to the special power he had. Yeah, she did have to awaken to the wild card. I guess what was that? When did it happen? Oh boy, here we are. Oh, Yukari. Yukari. I always woke up to that. It was so painful to lose him. I withdrew into my room, unable to do anything. For a while, 
I did nothing but chase after him in my dreams. Just the same dream over and over? The same failure over and over every night. That's... Uh. I guess... Sister. But after a while, I stopped dreaming entirely. It felt like a weight on my chest lightened and fell off. That must have been the last of the dreams I had. But I don't see what that has to do with my awakening. Still in pain? I don't think it's that simple, Metis. The person we saw, he's the one who had the same kind of power as you, isn't he? <sighs> so that's the big cause of all this? That didn't explain anything. Don't you get it? What we saw was only my sister's memory. But all of you want to see him again, right? I think it's safe to say that's true. Then the answer is obvious. What's that supposed to mean? What I said at the start was right all along. The fastest way to solve this would be to eliminate all of you. Okay, ease up there, Mattis. So, that means that figure we keep seeing is... Wait, something's wrong. Uh-oh. Speak of the devil and he shall appear, right? What the? Just as I thought. It's coming. The monster that's taken the shape of your regrets. That is, is that? unsettling. That can't be. This is the reason for everything. This doesn't have a name. This is our regrets given form. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. Right. So, for the time being, let's just see what Zeodyne does. I need your help. 230. So it's in its just most basic thing here. I'll show you my truth. All right. 
God's hand on. Athena. Yeah, that was Palace Athena. So, technically, he's weak, quote unquote, to electricity. He just takes extra damage from uh, from those from those attacks. He blocks Pierce. I'm dumb. That was dumb. Alright, that was unexpected, but I will take it. That was a good chunk. Miss. Alright. Still using Athena, huh? Alright, I trust Yukari will be able to take care of herself. Alright, who's up next? Alright. Alright. Alright, so... Let's just, uh... Get another Zeodyne out there. So, we might be taking a little bit more damage from here on out, though. But we're doing okay. It's Alright, should be getting close to a phase change here. Yeah. Oh, that is uh, Isis. Because it's all of our regrets given form. Why wouldn't it be using it, our own personas against us? Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. But Zeodyne is the correct answer still. who any other time that would be a thing that would be a thing worth doing I'm hoping Yukari ends up healing herself oh that was a whiff I'm hoping Yukari ends up healing herself before too long Okay, crit. That uh, that also works. But it is a seven thousand HP. Magaru dime. All right, that's different. Uh, Yukari can handle that. Wow, whiff again. Well, hang in there. Well, that sucked. Doing a lot of dodging. Persona changed. That's probably Trismegistus. I don't have anything with Garu, I don't think. I don't. 
All right. But I think I am going to do some healing here now. Because that hurt a lot. There we go. Alright. May as well use Zeodyne here. Because we're still on a good persona for doing this. No particular weaknesses that it can exploit. Got ability to heal, got ability to, to deal good damage. Miss. Deathbound. Alright, that could be problematic. Okay, that was unfortunate. Are you okay? Oh man, that sucked. Sorry to keep you waiting. Okay, uh, this could be bad if it does that again. Alright, it just changed personas. No, no, you hurry, John. Be All right. badly hurt. Use Medea Rahan. I should have started the scan, but that was okay. I believe it should not be using Psyche, maybe? Or is it back to Palace Athena? Yep, it's back to Athena. Ah, oh, that's just rude. What the f- Oh my god! Am I about to just- Oh, this is about to suck. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that- mm. All right, Medea Rahan, right now. All right, that's fine. Item Revival Bead. I'll start with Yukari. Deathbound on all of us. Yukari might be going back. No, okay, not yet. We're surviving, we're surviving. Alright, and... Where is... Alright, so we'll get Junpei back up. Persona changed. Alright, back to Isis. I'm not concerned about this. Yeah, it's now just changing personas willy nilly. Give me a sec. I'll scan the target. It's. You know what? Let's try. Not quite, but it's close. All right, so that one. Got, ooh, that got hairy for a second there. Uh, Trismegistus doesn't fuck around. Oh. All right. But we got through it. Vishnu has now learned his mind charge. Oh. 
Okay, this is, uh... This is disturbing. we think we did that was the monster born from us but it was yeah yes its powers and form were familiar but it was a shadow you are correct That makes no sense. Persona users are supposed to beat shadows, right? What are you talking about? Don't tell me you've been fighting them this whole time without knowing. Personas and shadows are the same thing. That's why you're able to fight them in the first place. There we go. Spelling it out. Did you all think that shadows were mysterious invaders or something? It's worth noting that as, as the uh, as the series progresses, um, shadows do seem to become more and more intelligent. In this game, the only one that shows any real intelligence is uh, is of course is of course Ryuji, um, who's of course just the next avatar, and that makes sense. But then in Persona 4, you have uh, you have both Teddy and also Izanami, um, and you have the mobile game, and as well as as well, and then also the uh, then also the shadow forms of your of uh, of your different party members and a few others. Um, in Persona, f in the and then the, of course there's the there's the arena games. Where there's even more seemingly intelligent shadows. And then in Persona 5, you can actually straight up have conversations with, with them. Shadows are the lower parts of the psyche everyone has. Suppressed human thoughts given physical form. When people are unable to face their darker selves, they break loose, free from all control. But sometimes... Indeed. Humans with special awareness contain their shadows. Those are Persona users. So Personas and Shadows, they're the same thing, just different names? Well, one's under the control of a person, one is not. If someone was able to create my sister and myself, wouldn't he have had to understand this? All those people lost their lives. <sighs> then, the reason for all this is our personas? Not quite. The shadow's power affects time and even space. Through your personas, your unspoken desires were manifested. You can't stand to see time move on. You don't want to accept your loss of someone precious. It was by each of your wishes that time stopped moving forward. Yeah, it was... our collective grief. And as a result, you became trapped here. And yeah, and the, and the answer is a great metaphor for grief. So we trapped ourselves. Huh. It's almost funny. In a hell of our own making, huh? Whatever the reason was, we beat that thing. That doesn't mean we're done. <laughs> 
I don't think. One. That should solve all this, right? I'm a, I'm not sure we know enough. Yes, that is correct. If we return to the dorm, we may be able to go outside. Alright, this part's gonna run a little bit long. Because normally I'd be stopping things off here, but I will let, let him continue. What's this? When did I Is this the key? You should be able to leave using those keys. Once you make it outside, the abyss of time should disappear on its own. Finally. Jeez, I'm glad this didn't end up taking another year. But these keys, there's eight of them. That's because each of you played a part in bringing this about. The door probably won't open unless all eight are used at once. Strength of heart when united is barred by no door. Those words. So it'll open if we're all around, is that right? Then let's get the hell out of here. Uh, so are we just gonna waltz out through the front door? I mean, that's what we should do, right? That door? Or another one? Uh, Metis, what are you talking about? There's still one closed door that doesn't connect to the outside world. Uh, oh. The main entrance, or that door. It's one or the other. Oh. A door that doesn't connect to the outside world. Are you talking about the door to his room? I just assumed someone had locked it. That door has the same feel as the doors to the past we've been going through up to now. It's probably a good thing that uh, Meta's kind of poked around a little bit then. What do you mean by one or the other? If we open it, won't it just connect to another past? That's right. If you go through the entrance, you'll return to the present. But that door leads to the past. The past? The world of the past. You've all been there many times now. But this time, the abyss will disappear once you go through the door. You'll be in the true past. Oh, we don't need time travel in this. Is that true? <sighs> Why would I lie about something like this? If you don't believe me, then why don't you try leaving through the entrance? To accept the past or to revisit it. You're saying that in the end, we have to choose. That seems to be the, the gist of it. What do you want to do? I'll go along with whatever you decide, sister. That way, I'll finally be able to save you from this cursed fate. To be honest, that's all I care about. Cursed fate? Which one are you going to choose, sister? I... <sighs> yeah, this is, uh... Uh, hey, why don't we go back to the dorm first? This is way too heavy to decide right here. Fair enough, Junpei, fair enough. I agree.
Oh, that's different. What the? What are all these cracks? This is bad. It's becoming unstable. It should last a little longer, but we don't have much time. If the fault extends to the door, we may not be able to leave even with the keys. <sighs> it's just one thing after another, isn't it? Yeah, seems to be the case. So, uh, what's the plan? I mean, no one's seriously thinking about going back to the past, right? That's what I thought. Um, I've been thinking. Why do you think he died? They never figured out the cause of death at the hospital, right? Well, that's... Personally, I still think it's because he used all his power to accomplish that miracle. In other words, we were saved because he gave up his life. He gave everything for us. So it doesn't seem right to undo all his work on our own. Ken Kuhn. I'm with Ken. We've all seen what kind of resolve it takes to face death. That resolve and what it brought about. There's no way we can cancel that out on our own whims. Even if it hurts, we have to deal with it and accept the present. Yukari, what about you? You're all about the here and now, right, Yukatan? I mean, you say it all the time, you gotta look forward. I... I want to go back to the time before the last battle. That's what I expected. I don't blame her. I really don't. Yukari's behavior here in the answer is, in my opinion, completely understandable. about how he protected us, I kept telling myself that I have to keep looking forward. That's why I started going to cram school and spending less time goofing off. And it started to feel like a it started to feel like a lie then. But I can't lie to myself. Yeah. Yeah. If there's a way for him to come back, I'll take it. No matter what. Yukari. So, you're giving up? Are you saying you don't have the strength to face reality? After all the things we've gone through, you're just gonna throw in the towel in the fight against yourself? Oh yeah, you're really one to be throwing around all those high-minded ideals. Oh boy. If you really thought something was that precious to you, you'd want to protect it no matter what. Don't you understand? We can go back and fix things. Are you sure we can fix things, though, Yukari? Are you seriously just going to let a chance like this go? Just saying. Then I'll ask you this. If I said I wanted to undo your father's death, would you do it? Even if there was a way to reverse Shinji and Miki's death, I'd flat out refuse. Nothing in the past was a waste. You're just making excuses. I don't think it's quite like that, Akihiko. <laughs> hey, you keep mentioning death. Are you saying the person who saved you all didn't just leave? 
Oh, that's right. We never outright told Metis what happened. That's correct. Just been dancing around it. Oh. <laughs> that may have been important to share. What? Why didn't you tell me before? Whoops. Why? But you've never met him. Yeah, a whole lot of cutscenes here. Anyway, what do the rest of you think? I don't know. I get second thoughts when I think about going back to when Shidori died. I definitely see what Akihiko Senpai is trying to say. We have Ken and we have so Ken and, and basically Akihiko both want to move forward, open the door to the present. At the very least, Yukari wants to open the door to, to the past. Junpei is caught in the middle. When you get down to it, though, I hate to say this, but I'm just too scared to do that battle over. Yeah, that uh, that last battle. What's wrong with you? He's not wrong, Yukari. You know it, and I know it. Are you saying you're scared to die, but it's okay if he does? That's not it. That's not what I said. I mean, have you really thought this through? Just saying, in the answer, Junpei is incredibly r relatable for me anyways. Going back to before that battle means we have to fight Nyx again. Yeah, he's... Did you ever think about what might happen if we lose this time? It's the same thing. Either way, all it means is that you're just scared. Yukari, are you... Do you have a different memory of that final battle than the rest of us? And you two are no better. All that talk about accepting the present is because when you get down to it, you only care about yourselves. Yukari, if we were to go back and fail, that... That's the, that, that's the end of, of, of the entire world. That's the end of humanity. I mean, do we really think we can get a better outcome than what has already happened? There's no use going around and around like this. We're never going to reach an agreement. So if no one gives in, we'll have to settle this another way. Um... What are you suggesting, Yukari? Another way? <gasps> Yukari-chan, you don't mean... I think she does. Taking the keys by force. That'll work too, right? It's true that the eight keys will merge if they're brought together even against their holder's wishes. That's not what I needed to hear. But if it comes to a fight, I'll protect my sister with everything I have. These keys represent each of your strength of heart. If you take my sisters, she may lose her life. What do you mean? Run away again. 
Okay, Yukari, that's too far. Just like the day we said our farewells to him, and you were the only one who didn't show up. You got to hear his last words. You even made him a promise. But here you are, still running. Why were you the one who inherited his power when you can't even make up your mind? I'm sorry, but I'm not gonna lose to someone like you. <sighs> Yukari-chan, are you really going to fight? This decision hinges upon someone precious to us all. Our differences can't be settled with a compromise. No matter what Igus decides, we have no choice but to fight. And I've made my decision as well. I'm going to stand with Yukari. Yep, I, I saw that one coming. Senpai! You're taking her side? Are you serious? No, I get it. I'm, if you remember the journey, Yukari was there for Mitsuru after her father died in a very dark time. Mitsuru is returning the favor. I know you well enough to tell your mind's made up. All right. Everyone! Uh, Follow me. I'll lead you to a place suitable for battle. If we fight there, no one can appeal the result. Hey! Yeah, things are escalating. Yukari, I understand. Probably more than you think, but I'm just I'm I'm not convinced. Akihiko, come on. I'll be honest, I I really sympathize with Junpei here, and I, yeah, he's, in the answer, somehow, the most annoying character in the journey, for, for me, becomes the most, becomes the most relatable character in the answer. Go figure. I still say that, that the credit for that uh, belongs to the writing team, in particular for the answer. But for now... Let's save. And I will, uh, and I will end this, this particular recording here, because it's been significantly longer than I normally let these go. Um, as always, thank you so very much for uh, watching, wherever and whenever that you happen to be. And I will see you in the next part, where things are going to get uh, kind of serious. Have a good one.